everyone, it's Haley, and welcome to another episode of Who's in My Bathroom, delivered by GoPuff. We're back with another situation in the bathroom, and I'm very excited about this situation as well because I love a peanut butter and jelly moment. So with that being said, please help me welcome my next guest, Megan Trainer. <laughs> Thank, Thank you for having. being here. Welcome to the bathroom. It's so gorgeous. Sit, sit. Okay. Oh, I have a few things that I have left to add to our sandwiches. We have yes. some Nutella, which Ooh, we love. Yes. We were able to get this here from GoPuff in well, less Go than Puff. 30 minutes, which is, we love that. Best. They're our partner here on the show. We choose our partners very wisely on this show, and they are the best. So, Bye. welcome to the bathroom. Ooh, thank so you. So happy to have you. So happy to be here. We, well you actually, have chosen to do a peanut butter and jelly bar, which honestly when they told me that, I was like, that speaks to me. Okay, good. <laughs> because I love peanut butter and jelly. Like, me too. That is just perfect. Walk me through what your PB&J process is. I'm really a simple gal. Usually it's just the peanut butter and the jelly with the bread, but we've got some extra toppings that I might get crazy with. Do you put the peanut butter or the jelly first? This is a big debate, I think. Uh, peanut butter, always. Right? Yeah. Some people put the jelly first, and I mm -mm. think that's sociopathic. Yeah, 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 no, 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 no. What are our options? There's pineapple, passion fruit, strawberry. I'm crazy here. Wild blueberry and raspberry. That'll do. I, when I want to do like a PB and J, I want it to be like unhealthy. We talking like late night drunk. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yup, you're double. Yeah, I'm just gonna copy you. Okay. You got like, oh yeah. Good Here's taste the thing. Buds. If it's too much jelly, it like ruins. It's the disgusting. Sandwich. Have you ever heard of someone who's like, I really like a jam sandwich? Because I've heard people say that, and I'm like, I don't like mm -mm 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 -mm. that. When I was pregnant, this was the only thing I craved. Here we have bread. <laughs> with peanut butter and the jelly on top. And? And Nutella on this side with jelly, because we're dirty birds. My jelly is all like falling out and spilling out. Wait, I haven't formed My mouth sandwich. is watering. <laughs> also, mine too. Do you cut diagonal? You cut? I cut down the middle. Okay, yeah. Cheers. <gasps> peanut butter Cheers. Oh, yours Cheers. is okay. ooey gooey. Yeah, it's like falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Is it really good with the bread in days? <laughs> oh my god. It's good with the Nutella. No, it's great with the Nutella. There you go. I'm trying not to get on my lips. Yum. You have nothing on your face. I know I do. You're so perfect. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> so are you. When did you start your music career? How did you end up in LA? So my parents signed me up for songwriting competitions. Yeah. And they would take me, like for my Christmas gift, or our family trip we would go once a year, would be like, to Los Angeles for Megan, but the boys get to go to the San Diego Zoo, you mm -hmm. know, my two brothers. So everyone won. And then in high school I got signed as a songwriter, and I left at lunchtime to go sign my deal. Wow. I came back to school and I was like, oh, I'm rich, but I wasn't. But I was like, <laughs> I did it. Yeah. And then I didn't have to go to college, stoked. And then I was a songwriter for one year in Nashville. And uh, then I wrote all about that bass. And then it popped off. And your husband is the reason why I'm so successful, because he remixed my song. Is that true? Yeah, he remixed all about the bass. And I was like, I called my brother. I was like, it's over. I'm so famous. We need to leave. <laughs> We need to go to California. It's like Justin Bieber knows who I am. It's done. It's it, We're done. It's Rob. done. Yeah, it's a wrap. Then I lived here, uh, and I moved my brothers out to be my roommates, mm -hmm. and they've never left, and they're in my house, and we're all Still like almost, day. yeah. We're almost 30, and I have a husband and a child, and they're Uncle Ryan and Uncle Justin are in the house forever. That is which so sweet. I wouldn't have it any other way. I won't let them leave. It's an that issue. That is amazing. That's yeah. actually really sweet. Okay, you moved to LA, you live here, you're married. Pop star, married. I married Spy Kids. I married Juni Cortez. I married Daryl Sabara. And he's here somewhere. Ow, ow! Um, thank you. And How long have you been married for? Bebe. Three years. Three years. Woohoo! Woohoo! 
best three years ever. We were talking about it today. We got married on my birthday, December 22nd. I'm November 22nd. I know. We're the same. We're the same. But I'm on the part. Yeah, so it, it, it's the greatest. And we got married young. You got married young too. Yeah, I was 21. I was 22? It was my birthday. I was 22. Right? 23? I was 24. I was 24? Listen, right now I'm 21, so I don't know what you're saying. Um, <laughs> yes, I was I was younger, but you were 21. Yeah, I was two months before I turned 22. Really insane, but like the but best thing ever. But wasn't it great? Yeah, dude. And we're about to be four years. Holy shit. How crazy is that? It's amazing. Yeah. I feel like you two are the best for each other. I mean, Thank I you. know it. I see it. Thank you. I see you both like getting better and prettier and cooler. Thank you. If that's possible. That's so nice. But that's how I was like, oh, they're good for each other. I kind of feel that way too. I'm like. That's my best friend and we're just like driving. Just getting better. Yeah. That's when people are like, when you can support your person and like make them better while they make you better, that's what we're doing it's, every day. It's, I'm like, yeah, it's that. Because that's what you're signing up for. It's like, hey, do you want to tackle the rest of our lives together? Yeah, and just be best friends and hang out. All the time. It's like slumber <laughs> party every night with your it's best, the best friends. Oh my God, I tickle it's him. The best. It's the best. Everybody's going to see this and be like, they literally sound like they're 14 and they're married. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, yeah. <laughs> so you have the cutest baby ever. Yes. Like. Ever, ever, ever. Did it, one, yes. Um, I want four. <laughs> yeah. But. I don't have any, so I don't know how to, I can't judge do that. Do you want to? I do, yeah. I can see myself being like, I have one or I have five. Right. Like not an, like it's like I have one or I have many. No, once you have one, you're like, I need more. The first words I said when I saw Riley was, oh, need to make more. Yeah. Like it wasn't, need. he's perfect, I was like, uh-oh. How long did you wait before you had kids? I wanted them at 22, but I wasn't married yet, apparently. <laughs> and I, I would walk in the Whole Foods store and see diapers with Daryl. It was more like I had my person and was like, we should make more of us, mm -hmm. you know? And I would see the diapers and I would literally tear up. And I would go to my therapy sessions, be like, something's wrong. And they're like, yeah. she said, no, you're just already mothering them. And I was like, uh, sobbed. Yeah. I had a crazy C-section and everything was fine in the moment. I was like, this is great. Looking back, I'm like, that was traumatic. Yeah but he's great and I still want more babies immediately. He was just breached, that's why we had a C-section. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a single contraction and so I don't know what those feel like. How did that work? They were like, he's 39 weeks, he's fully cooked. So when would you like to book your C-section? And I was like, I'm gonna choose his birthday for the rest of his life, I'll take the eighth, like the yeah. first option. Mm -hmm. Because he was breached, they're like, there's no way you could push him out. And I was like, okay. Childbirth is just so crazy, like you are a fucking queen. Champion, oh and after that, you're like, nothing can stop me, like I, Healthily lost 60 pounds. I've accomplished all my goals I've ever wanted in life. I'm an actress some days, writing a book. I don't even read books and I'm oh, writing nice. a book. <laughs> so nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Period, the end. Period. How do you feel like you balance with like a child and you're married? Guilt. Guilt will eat you alive, and it <laughs> does. I couldn't avoid it, I can't help it, it sucks. But um, the mom guilt comes in hard, comes in fast. So he started saying mama first, and I was like, that's the greatest feeling ever. I come home every night from work and I give him bath time and bedtime. But recently, took a turn, and he only says dada. And I'm like, it's cause I've left, it's because I'm working too much, you know? Yeah. I blame myself, and all the therapy and all the uh, speech therapist is like, no, he just, learned that dada is easier and like that's what he says nowadays and he doesn't even know that's dada like whatever i'm dada but <laughs> i you just like you're in your head hard and yeah. it's really hard it's it's as hard as you know when everyone's like let's start to love ourselves and our body it's similar of like be easy on yourself you're working for your family you're supporting him mm -hmm. you're gonna make all his dreams come true so you have a new album coming out uh-huh which is really exciting i do i got to hear it no you didn't was I not supposed no, to? No, 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 no. I'm saying you actually listened oh, to yeah, it. Oh yeah, I did. I was like, wait, oh my God, did I just get you or like really? in trouble? It's so good. Really? And I love Shut everything up. you're talking about. Thank I wanna you. know, you're really talking about a lot of body positive, positivity. Because I'm working on it. Just human empowerment in general. Why is that important for you to talk about in your music? That's always important for me since day one because I saw all about that bass, like what it did for people around the world. I didn't get it and then my meet and greets, parents would come up to me and say my daughter like, or my son didn't go to school, stayed home because they were so depressed. 
and then your song came out and something changed in their life and now they're happy and they love themselves. Once I learned I had that superpower, I was like, okay, let's do good with our powers. And so every album I always do my Megan, like, body positive anthem or love yourself anthem because I also need them for myself. Yeah. Yeah, this album is me all grown up with a baby. And I have a lot of songs about being a mom, like Superwoman, and um, how it's tough, how it's tough. Uh, Don't I Make It Look Easy is another song on there where I'm literally packing up my kids to go to the studio and I'm like, this is exhausting. And I'm like, mm -hmm. but I can't complain. I'm supposed to be like, I'm all put together. I'm a perfect mom. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, but I cry so much, you know? <laughs> so I just wanted to make fun, happy music. So we are playing a really fun game that we've never played on the show before and it's Giant Jenga. Oh, Giant Jenga. Giant Jenga. Okay. We're gonna clear our PB and J. Clear. Out. Clear it out. Do we snap and it goes away? In the edit. It yeah, right? Okay, so I might have exaggerated when I said giant Jenga. Okay. This is giving more medium size. Medium. So the way it works is the winner is the winner. <laughs> and <laughs> I was like, you're gonna teach me how to play Jenga? Bro, I know how. No, 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 I'm just saying these are the stakes. Oh, the okay. loser has to post the other person in their Instagram story, no context, and the person that won gets to pick their caption. So, so like, either way, I'm a winner. Right, so. <laughs> on a Haley Beaver's Instagram, my okay. Deal? Deal. Shake over the Jenga. Let's do it. God, this is a tight rack, I'll tell you what. Purr. <laughs> oh God. Outside of being a mom, and making music, and writing books, and doing all of the amazing things that you do, what do you like to do in your free time? Oh, oh man, sit down on the couch. <laughs> what else do we like to do? What do we do? Oh, I've been making beaded necklaces. That's fun. I went to Michael's. <laughs> We're like tapping for which I ones. Literally. Hello? Applause. Can I push that one in? No. Well, how do I? How could I lose like this? This is so lame. What happened here? Uh -oh. Wait, wait, if you get both and you don't knock it over, then you're fine. Then I automatically win. Hello, knock knock. With love. Okay, I'm gonna do something really crazy and just like check what's happening here at the bottom. You're crazy. Oh, what Am the f <laughs> That one was so loose, it was so easy. It's so loose. Oh no. <laughs> I'm about to be on your Instagram. Just do it, girl. Just let me stay. New album is incredible. Is incredible. Out October 21st. She is also, also really good. Really good at Jenga. At Jenga. Okay, I'm gonna do a kissy face like we kissed. Beautiful. <laughs> We're live. We're live. Woo! It's live. Feels good. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Who's in My Bathroom. Thank you to Megan Trainer for being here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you only come in the bathroom once. Uh huh. Or I guess you only peanut <laughs> <laughs> butter. Keep it. Some people put the jelly first, and I think mm -hmm. that's sociopathic. Does that mean you're a serial killer? Because I think it might. <laughs> My husband is sometimes. <gasps> well, he just doesn't like dressing and stuff. Are we going in? He or eats we not? a salad plain. Yeah. No, you like, can go in. You can no start. dressing. Grass. He eats what? grass because he's a cereal color. So where are you from? Got lost in your eyes. My hair is fucked up. That's what you're saying. Okay. Wait. Actually, take the whole piece of my mouth. Okay. Like all of your hair and just throw it back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're oh no, I literally picked a food that wouldn't be all over our mouths and we're gonna have shit mouth. Whatever. Mm -hmm.